Hi everyone, hopefully you can hear me right now. <laughs> I'm Dave. I'm Rick. <laughs> and welcome to the December edition of Byerly RV University. Happy holidays everyone. Yes. As you can see, we are festive and yeah. ready to go. We've got things decorated around here. It's awesome. We've got a big event coming up tomorrow and Saturday. We have yep. our annual Santa's Magic Kingdom Christmas light tours, which are full basically at this point in time. So thank you for everybody that signed up. Yep. Um, we will be, uh, we've got about 500 people coming through here in the next two days to go up to the Christmas lights, right? Yes. Uh, everybody needs to please bring food. We collect food donations for this. So if yep. you are already on Can the goods. list and you're coming, yeah, yeah, exactly. Non-perishables, right? Yep. Canned yep. goods, please. Right. Um, we collect that for the local uh, local food bank. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, before we get too deep into this, thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, may not, make sure to check out the rest of the Byerly RV YouTube channel. You can see Rick and I do monthly live broadcasts like this, and then we also have things. And like, we don't look goofy like this. Not usually, usually <laughs> no. You know, but this is all about fun, right? Right. And uh, but uh, yeah, no, we um, we we do product videos and fun videos and and you know all kinds of stuff. So be sure to check that out. You can check us out on Instagram and on uh, Facebook as well. Follow, or we do broadcast uh, simultaneously on Facebook and YouTube. So hello to everybody out there. If you're watching on Facebook, check out the YouTube channel. Be sure to uh, you know you can subscribe, click the bell icon. You'll be notified when we do stuff like this. Yeah. So tonight is parts school essentially guys and what we're going to do is on the table right here first rick and i are going to go through uh what we give someone when they buy a camper because we don't right. just turn you loose with these things right, right. we're, we're going to get you set up and so we've we've got that oh yeah real quick questions. um we do not have our earpieces on we can't right. take questions i apologize so um, if you guys want to put questions in there, we can try to get to them later or next time, yeah. or we can try to respond, or you yeah. can email Rick e or email I. Email them, yeah, and, and then we'll, say, we'll my, respond to them that way. Yeah, yeah. If you have questions, email Rick or I. Mike will put our email addresses up there on the screen. Yeah. So, um, But we won't be able to do it tonight. But thank you all for watching. We really certainly appreciate that. Yeah. And like I said, we're going to go through this little kit here of what we give somebody when they buy a camper. And then we're going to go through the parts store. Just have yeah. some fun. We'll just kind of stop at some cool stuff and, and, and things like that. So um, I don't know. What do you think, Rick? We're should we start? I think we probably start with the paperwork. You want to? Okay. I think so. All right. So, guys, what we do here is um, you'll see that there's a we give you this little thing that says enjoy your first trip, and this talks about what we give you in this kit. So we're going to go over this stuff in the top paragraph up here, and then we have recommended accessories, optional accessories, and some just for fun accessories. But guys, this is just kind of a list that we've compiled of you know what. What, what's useful, you know? Mm -hmm. And then what do you have, Rick? This is just a quick uh, form on uh, how to winterize your camper. You know, we did the school and everything in them. Well, this is kind of the written version of it that uh, explains to you. And then on the back, back side, it talks about how to sanitize your fresh water system, the tank, the lines, uh, everything in there. Yep. And then here's a, uh, we give you guys a uh, syllabus of the uh, Byerly RV University schedule of classes. And we provide you a convenient link, right? Yep. And there's our QR code that will get you to that instructional videos and stuff that uh, Dave and, uh, and uh, Mike have recorded. And uh, it'll also get you to our Byerly University uh, videos and stuff. Too. Yep. Uh, Buyer the RV is part of what's called the Priority RV Network. The Priority RV Network is a network of dealers across the country that are committed to making sure that we help people that are on the road. Um, so if you purchase from a Priority RV Network like Byerly RV and you are out of town and you have a trip ending emergency, like the fridge went out or something. I mean, if a cabinet door comes loose, that's fine. We'll fix it when you get back. But if the fridge goes out, the air goes out or something like that, um, this is going to get you priority service at a participating dealer. You can contact us. We can make that arrangement for you. I know there's one thing that's not in here. If what you mean? buy a used camper, oh. our 90-day used warranty sheet okay would be yeah in, if it's in here explaining to you guys do that anymore no covered. we don't do that anymore we don't do that anymore so it's no big deal to, well it's you're supposed to get that somewhere <laughs> i think business may do it okay yeah right. um, my apologies sir. nope that's all right this right here is the byerly rv catalog look at this you guys how awesome is it 
to have a real catalog, man. It's like the old Christmas catalogs and stuff, right? Um, but it is nice because we can ship stuff to you if you're somewhere. Basically, you need to take this with you because the next time I see you, I like to see all the post-it notes on all the pages of all the <laughs> stuff you want. Take an extra one. Have one at home, one in the RV, right? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, but uh, we, we're proud of the catalog, man. It's cool. It's something, yeah. you know, that tactile yeah. sensation of a catalog is different than looking yeah. online. So. And they're free. They are free. Yes. yes. Actually, actually, that's actually like the most expensive away. free thing you'll ever get because it's going to cost you lots of money while you buy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but Good all right, point. so here's our kit, you guys, and, and this yep. is what happens here, okay, at Byerly RV. When you, buy, when you come in, you know, when you buy an RV, the day you pick it out and say, this is the one we want, well, we do paperwork and things like that, but then we schedule a time for you to come back because we have to take the camper back, and we get it prepped and things like that, and we get it ready for you. Then you come in the day to pick it up, and you'll go to the finance office and do your paperwork, and then you'll go back to the shop, and a technician's gonna take you around the inside and the outside and show you how to use the thing, okay? And then they're gonna bring you right back up here to the parts department, and they're gonna sit down probably at this table right here and go over your welcome kit with you. And so the welcome kit, we've kind of laid that out right here. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, the, the first, we'll just talk about the big obvious thing on the table, which is yep. the sewer hose, right? So this is a 10-foot sewer hose, okay? 20-foot sewer hose. Thank you, Piper. See, she's right here. She's our parts <laughs> expert holding the camera today. 20-foot um, sewer hose. It's a basic sewer hose, guys. So, yeah. you know, you would need to purchase something uh, to go, yep, in the end right here. <laughs> it's also a good slinky. It sure is, you know, just like a slinky. Um, but um, you would need to purchase, because when you go to a, a, a uh, campground, you need to have something that seals in the hole. We're just going to put that down there. Um, <laughs> And one of the things that Rick and I are going to show you is some upgrades to that because right. uh, by the time you buy the end of it and stuff, the reality is if you can buy the best sewer hose money can buy for less than 100 bucks and that's your job, might as well, right? Absolutely. <laughs> what else we got, man? So one of the most important things is the water pressure regulator. This attaches to the hose bib at the campground and then you hook your water hose onto it and it regulates the pressure to 40 PSI. So we don't blow our lines and everything up. So that being said, you have the regulator, you have the fresh water hose, a 25 foot vinyl drinking water rated fresh water hose. Yeah, that's the thing maybe, you know, it, it is a, a food grade hose, which, you know, for most of us RVers, it's no big deal, you drink out of a hose, right? But we've had people come and buy lots of this stuff because they were having events and they needed food grade stuff. Um, the, um, you know, you think about that water pressure regulator, like you said, you know, you guys, when you go to a campground, that campground's pressurized for like 200 people at once, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You open that spigot and the water comes out so hard it makes a crater in the ground and you really don't want to run all that through right. the camper and that's, that's, and then this isn't just the cheap junky one either, this is brass, the plastic yes. one just busts off, so yep. uh, there Absolutely. you go. Um, water hoses, 25 foot, they also come, what, 25, 50? 50. 50. Um, yeah. There's half inch and five eighths. Uh, yeah. Your plumbing on the inside is half inch, so unless yeah. you're running more than one faucet, at a time, it doesn't really matter if you have yeah. a bigger hose, does it? Yeah, not really. <laughs> not really. You know, um, but there, there is that. Those are some of the options that are available. Um, another thing that, uh, well, take it back. We'll talk about it when we go. Let's see. What else have we got? We give them some. Well, oh, yeah, there you go. Well, th and this is another important thing. This is what allows you to be able to use your camper at home. This is a 30 to 15 household type plug. So, you want to be able to plug it in, you want to be able to keep your batteries charged, uh, maybe run the refrigerator or something to get it cold before you start putting your food and stuff in. This will allow you to take your 30 amp cord or your 50 and then dog bone it down. We'll show you a dog bone later. Um, and dog bone it down to a 30 amp and then on down to a 15 amp. Ideally, you would like to plug your cord directly into this and then plug this directly into the wall as opposed to going through a long extension cord, but a lot of times you, you have to use an extension cord. Um, but this will allow you to get down to a regular household type outlet and at least be able to run your low amperage type devices. You don't want to run air conditioners and No, this is a get your battery like charged and get the fridge cold. Exactly. Uh, deal is yep. what this is for. So. Yep. Um, the cool thing is, is that if you try to do more than that, it'll melt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool, yeah. actually, it's bad. I mean, that means, if it looks like it melted, well, you tried to pull too much of it. Um, yeah. Cause that's the, it's, you, you can turn on as much as you want. It'll stop you, the, hopefully the breaker will eventually. Yeah. 
Um, so we also give like here's some um, these are just pouches for uh, toilet chemical right so mm -hmm. we use a chemical in the black tank to treat the waste controls the odor breaks down waste there's all kinds of different chemicals this just happens to be the one that comes free Rick and I are going to go over some more with you yep. and just while I'm at it real quick we also throw in a really inexpensive pair of dump gloves um, but hey why not right I do carry better ones with me and then what do we got Good catch. <laughs> right? Yeah. Not just any, though. Septic rated. Yeah. RV rated. Yes. Toilet paper. And not only that, but it's two ply, okay? So yeah. nothing but the best for our clients here at Byerly right. RV. Uh, but for real, we do, it's a special RV toilet paper. It breaks up into little bitty pieces when it gets wet and stuff like that. Um, so that, that way it helps to just wash out when yep. we go to uh, dump yep. the tanks and stuff. So yep. Biodegradable. Yep. Digestible. You know, the what idea is, guys, when you come in, you, come, you get your camper and you're leaving out of here, you have the minimum, essentially, of what you right. need right. to be able to go camping. Now, we're going to go walk to the store here and look at some of the uh, non-minimum stuff uh, yeah. that's here. Right? Yeah. And that's the fun stuff. I tell people this, you guys, and I say this out of experience. When we bought our first camper a very long time ago, I will never forget we bought this camper and we literally filled two carts yeah. Worth of stuff, dude. Yep. You know, because you're excited. It's like, dude, we need this, we need this, we need this, we need this. Dude, two years later, I'm unloading this camper and it, I'm literally taking stuff out I never used. <laughs> so, my advice is over the course of the first year of ownership, every trip you take, you're going to have a little list of things that would have made that trip easier. And that's how you do it. And at the end of the year, You've accumulated all these things that are working for you, yeah. and you're getting your money's worth, and you didn't buy stuff you didn't need like I did. So yeah. that, that's my advice on that. I mean, I'd love you guys to come in here and spend a ton of money uh, on day one, of course. That's what we're here for, support your local RV dealer. But uh, the reality is, is that you need to, it's kind of nice to do it along the way. Um, however, on that note, uh, Nate, the parts manager, wanted to make sure that I mentioned to you guys that when you buy a camper at Byerly RV, the day you pick it up, Okay, you do this, this presentation like we just did, mm -hmm. and then a parts person is gonna take you around the store. Anything you buy that day is 20% off, and that includes the generator that we're gonna look at in just a little bit. So um, that's a big deal, that's guys. That's a good deal. Uh, there's not margins on generators like that. So yeah. <laughs> that is, that is um, us basically providing you a generator at a very, very, very good cost because you're our client. And uh, we'll talk more about it when we get there, right? Yeah. Let's head over. We'll head over here. We're going to start over in the corner over here, guys. We just kind of have a, we, we'll go up and down the aisle so we don't miss anything. We'll keep going until Piper can't hold the camera no more. We'll be all right. <laughs> you know, so, we're going to stop right here real quick. You know what? Hang on. Oop, I don't know where the light switch is. I was going to say, I'll just turn this on for a little more lighting. So, guys, here you go. This is something. We'll just kind of start with this. Why not start with the throne, right? Yeah, toilet. Right? You know, you guys might not realize this, but you can actually upgrade your commode in a camper, you know? like yeah. So, there you go. See, this yeah. one's plastic, right? Right. This one down here, that's uh, porcelain. It sounds yeah. better when you, when you do it like this, right? So, anyway... Uh, but yeah, it's cool. You really yeah. can do that. Why not? You know, like some of these, this is a residential size commode, man. I mean, right. this is cool. So, right. you know. And all of these will bolt to any common type toilet flange. Yeah, easy um, upgrade, so. guys. Easy upgrade. Very cool. At one point in time, they did have some that were weird, but they've gone to a universal. <laughs> Remember that? Right here, down. there was this poster. <laughs> to tell us what toilet could go with, like, if this yeah. is the toilet you took out, you could put this other one in, right? right we don't right. need to do that anymore. It's yeah. nice. Um, I always got tote tanks. I have a tote tank, you guys. I went camping this summer, went to a place where I had electric only, um, and uh, we had water, but no sewer, because it was on sand on the beach, right? And so I took my tote tank. I bought one of these, Rick. A macerator. I did. I bought one of these, okay? And I put that tote tank. A tote tank is a portable holding tank that you can dump your tanks into and then take it up and dump it without having to move the whole camper, right? And so I literally I got me one of these. I kept that in the bed of my truck and I would hook this up to the camper and pump the gray water up into there and then take it down and dump it, dude. It was so, great. So that's what you, you were really using that as a pump, not really a I was using a, this, macerator. I wasn't master, I was only doing yeah. gray. I was, yeah. using, but it'll pump it like 200 yeah. feet or something, yeah. man. I mean, it's like great. Yeah. Uh, but That's yeah, not a bad idea. Dude, it was so cool. Yeah. I mean, I was absolutely just every night, you know, we could shower, do whatever, just like a full hookup. 
and I was just pumping that gray. Oh, and the thing was, this time, you know, the tote, I could actually tow it up and dump it, but at this campground, there were two campgrounds, the dump station was not in either one, and I had to drive down a 40 mile an hour road, about a half a mile, you can't do that. This yeah. is like a five mile an hour yeah. max speed, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. all you do. So to be able to put it up in the bed of my truck and do that, it was just absolutely awesome, dude. That's absolutely next level as well, but that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, that, was, that was cool. Yeah. Um, here you go. This is what I was talking about when yeah. I mentioned best sewer hose money can buy. Okay. I mean, there's different, obviously, opinions on that, um, depending on what you're looking for. I personally use the Dominator. Yeah. Uh, the Viper's actually a little more expensive than the Dominator because it is as strong but actually more flexible. Yeah. Um, this one, if you crush it, uh, it's hard plastic, right? right. So it's kind of cool because it's like... You can yeah. put bends in it and it stays, but once it's crushed, it's done. Yeah, you could actually you can drive over this one. Let's say, and, yeah, you and should, you're just supposed right to be able to back. accidentally run over it, uh -huh. and it should survive. Right. Um, but anyway, guys, I mean, this whole kit right here, okay? Well, here's the thing. We talked about earlier, you need some sort of elbow or something like that. So at the least, your elbow is 18 bucks, and you need a clamp for it. So you're 20 bucks into something like this. Or you can trade in that Soros. What do we give them, 10 bucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll trade in that inexpensive Soros, give you a $10 credit. This is like, this whole kit right here is 91. Take your 20% off the day you buy your camper, that makes it 74 minus the $10 credit makes it 64 bucks for a 20 foot kit with all, it's the- Yeah, the, comes with everything, yeah. Everything you need. Yep. And if that's your job, I promise you, that is a worthy investment, so. Um, now we say it comes with everything you need. It does not come with the with the that with is the correct. Bridge. And guys, so have, I you do use have to this. Buy that. This is this is um, it's called a sidewinder. And what this is is this is the thing that hold. You know, here's mm -hmm. the deal, right? I can't tell you how many times that I'm camping somewhere, and you've seen this too, Rick. Yeah. Where, you know, the sewer hose or the sewer hole yeah. is a piece of PVC, and it's sticking out of the ground. And then the problem is it's sticking out of the ground, like that far. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you just drop the sewer hose out of your camper onto the ground and go across, it has to go bump up into that. Yeah. It doesn't flow uphill, okay? Not well. Not well. <laughs> You're out there going like this. Okay, all right. We've all seen that before, right? These really are worth it. Yeah. I absolutely use this every time. I'll use that, just to dump the darn thing, dude. Yeah. I mean. And, and they start out taller and they work yeah. down is, is it. It gives you a proper slope so yep. that things dump right. Yep. It's a little thing, but this is one of those things that I really personally do yep. recommend. If you don't have a sewer hose or if you don't have a black tank flush out built into your camper, I do also recommend some sort of some way, you know, yep. to rinse out that black tank. It's just challenging yep. over the years to keep it clean and you need to have something. We can either install something mm -hmm. or like this allows you to back flush and some things like that so yeah. uh there's the some options stick out down there through the toilet yeah this will go down you to just spin it around in there you know it goes down in there and kind of cleans it out and stuff like that so kind of need something like that i think eventually this is and then here's this right yeah. nobody knows about these little guys the johnny chalk yeah. okay so see how what i do is okay here come on Boop. we're over here Back to the toilet. Yep. So let's say I'm going to clean out, I want to I rinse out my commode, right? <laughs> so instead of standing here like this and holding my foot down on this, you take your little Johnny chalk right here, and you leave that in there just like that. So number one, when it's there, it's running. I want to have my black tank as full as possible before I empty it. So the way to add water, I can just stick that in there and then watch it. But the deal is it's hollow in the middle. The reasons right. why it's hollow in the middle is all those tools you saw over there will fit down through this, so you don't have to sit there with your foot on it, it'll just hold it open. Yep. It's a little thing, but you know, it's like, yeah. I keep one. Convenience. Sure is. You know, it's, it's a convenience feature. Absolutely. So. As is a lot of this, right? That's right. the whole idea. We're supposed right. to be having fun. Guys, this is all toilet chemical over here. Liquids, powders, packets, natural things, chemical things. I will say this, if you try to do something like Cronin, which is a bacterial-based deal, you can't switch back and forth from chemical to bacterial because this chemical kills that bacteria and nothing works. So you either start with this and keep going with this or just stick with your 
I mean, it's hard to go back and forth. Don't you right. agree, Rick? Yes. I mean, yes. nearly impossible. Yeah. So uh, you either start with this yeah, stuff. It's two go different with types it. of systems. It so really you, is. Yeah, you, you know, you can't even if forth. you're using the Cronin stuff that's bacterial based, you got to use a special chemical to clean the toilet. Otherwise, what mm -hmm. you clean the toilet with will kill the bacteria that's trying to do its work. All right. Um, here you go. Right. Extra toilet paper, chemicals, sealants, or drain valve lubricants, gray water odor control, tissue digester, level gauge cleaner. It is almost inevitable, you guys, that eventually, like, your tank is going to, uh, your tank's going to, like, not show empty when it's empty. Right. <laughs> and that's what this is for, right, Rick? Yeah. Lights not on. In addition to, in addition to doing your tank flushes, these help to keep the, the gauges clean and and uh, I've been keep using the gray water odor control right. actually. I ended yeah. up with a little issue, so hey. Heavens gray, to the best of us, gray man. Gray water people don't think about this. Gray water can actually stink worse than black water. I can attest to that, Rick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Dude, gray water gray man. water can get pretty nasty. Woo! Um, so anyway, I'm working on that. that. See guys, you can be a pro and it still happens. Yeah. So um, as we kind of move, just, you know, accessories, replacement pieces, guys, things like that. Maybe you got a pop-up that has a little hand pump. We even have that kind of stuff, you guys. Um, we bounce, we're going to bounce around here as we go down these aisles so we don't miss anything. Rick's got some stuff, uh, some, so, you know, nice upgrades. Every, everything on this shelf here is all hardware stuff. Um, down there we have screws, we have... Um, all kinds of um, every kind of catch yeah you know uh, for drawers and have, things like that yeah drawer catches and and hinges for compartment door we have locks for compartment doors you guys man i know yeah. you can you can re-string your shades yeah you know stuff like that uh -huh. um but you know this is the kind of stuff that you know anybody can put out a store that has like you know uh fridge bars and, and right. trash cans and stuff, okay? But this is the real deal. This is when you really need a part and you need to find it, we're gonna have it. Look at the, all these yep. drawer guides down here, man. I mean, this is stuff, we got this stuff. I mean, this isn't just off the shelf stuff. We keep it in stock so that when we need it, it's here, you know? Right. But this isn't something that you always just find, you know, sitting around. This is a big one here. Vinyl insert mm. replacement. Keep talking, Rick. We're constantly having to replace these. People are they're coming off of My, people's campers and stuff like that, and we're replacing. Are we them. off? Well, hey, Check. you can do it yourself. It's very no easy camera. to do. It just snaps right into the rails. So we have it in oh. white. We have it in black. Um, we have 50 and 100 foot rolls. So um, mm -mm. guttering. If you want to put gutter downspouts to get the water off. So we're audio it. only right now. Mm -hmm. Folks, we are audio mm -hmm. only right now. We've had a little bit of a camera challenge here. Yeah. We apologize. Technical difficulty. Technical difficulty. We did pretty good too. So hang in there with us for just a second here um, while we try to get our mm -hmm. camera going again. Um, you know, this is something where we're all set up to try to do this wirelessly down in the uh, parts department here. And it can be challenging sometimes. Uh, when we're not up in the studio, poor Mike moved so much stuff today to try to make this happen. Um, and now we're just having a little challenge. No big deal, you guys. Um, I'll say, let's see, let's, let's talk about some other stuff that's going around, on around here while we kind of wait for a second. Um, I let everybody know that we do uh, close for Christmas time here at Byerly RV. So we will be closing, we will be open on December 22nd. We will be closed on December 23rd. We will reopen on January 3rd. So um, know that if you need anything during that period of time, you won't be able to probably get a hold of anybody here. Um, if you really need something, you could totally email me and stuff. Um, that would be fine. So we are probably about there with the camera, yeah. guys. So give us just another second. I, I see do the lens apologize. Up, so yeah, it looks like we're there back we online there. And Hi, it's us again. Maybe. Michael, how are we doing? You keep talking. Yeah. So, um, so I was describing the vinyl insert. Now we got a picture of that. Um, some more of the hardware stuff that we have here. Uh, rollers for closet doors uh, and pocket doors. We have the rollers and trucks for them. Um, we have table legs for the uh, removable tables. We also have the, the bases in case one of your 
bases break. We have the aluminum and we have the plastic ones. Um, and it's just all kinds of hardware, door props for, for entry doors. We got them in metal, we got them in plastic, uh, clips for baggage doors to hold the baggage doors up. We have various kinds of those. Um, <clears throat> the trim rings that go around the uh, entry door window, we have that. Uh, we have a shade that'll go on those entry doors. Um, various different kinds of handles and stuff like that for screen doors and entry doors, grab handles for the outside to help you get in. Um, we have a good assortment of entry door locks for various different, for campers, for C-class motorhomes. Uh, we have some for A-class motorhomes. Um, we have the uh, screen inserts, the slides that go on the, uh, on the door screens, uh, various different styles of those for the different kinds of brands of doors. Um, and then we also have uh, some, some actual indoor interior uh, handles and latches, and then some cooling fans. These are like, uh, these are the kind of fans you'd have in a hybrid or a pop-up. Bunk end fan lights. Yeah, bunk end fans. Um, this would be like a, a dash fan that you would have like in an A-class motorhome. Um, got some weather stripping. <laughs> so just all kinds of hardware. We Basically anything you need to do those little minor repairs, you know, We've got some of it, and if we don't have it here on the shelf, we can get it. So. Yep. Thanks for bearing with us, you guys, yep. on this. We appreciate it for sticking with us. We got this now. No problem. Anyway, other things you can upgrade, you guys. You can upgrade yep. faucets. You know, you can upgrade faucets. There's yep. standard widths on these things. It's cool. Right. Upgrading shower heads. I did that. Love my nice. I, I use one of these Oxygenics um, because I have a shower miser and so therefore I need to create more water pressure and that does it. If you have a shower miser and you're like, well, I need more pressure, try one of those. Um, this is something I wanted to mention earlier. It's like when we were doing, when we were talking about water hose and yeah. water yeah. pressure regulator earlier. Mm -hmm. um, this is something I've always used. It's just a water filter. It just goes in line. So, you know, it's like I've got the spigot, like Rick said, or excuse me, I've got the, uh, the pressure regulator goes on the spigot and then I'll run the hose over up into this filter that has this special reinforced piece that's coming off of the camper. So that it's this piece here actually, so that it doesn't kink the hose or anything. Mm -hmm. um, but this is something where, okay, what is this thing? It's 35 bucks, you use it all year long, and at the end of the year, throw it away, buy another one next year. There's mm -hmm. other, there's, and of course we have refills and things yep. like that as well. Um, there's, yeah. you know. You got the refills for your canister filters, the mm -hmm. big plastic canister filters. We actually got the whole canister filter if you want to add one to your, to your camper. You can actually add an external canister filter mm -hmm. if you want to. So various caps and things like that. We've got different water pumps here if you need to replace a water pump. Tons of, this is all plumbing hardware. We're not going to get into all this. We've got fittings over here, more plumbing. I to mean, toilet valves. We, we got, have all kinds yeah. of water valves for toilets. So there. all these toilet valves are what freeze in the winter time, and you got to yeah. replace because we failed our winterizing and yeah. stuff. Um, and all these are different ones. So if you need a toilet valve, best bet is bring in the old one if you can, or you need to know the model number and things like that of your to brand and model number of the toilet for us to be able to get you the right one. Yeah. Uh, more plumbing fittings, so the black ABS, is that ABS, right? Yeah? Yes. Um, in case you tore off the bottom and need to redo it. We've got replacement valves. We've got, I mean, just, you know, whatever mm -hmm. you may need here. Again, more of the hardware stuff for the fix it yourself person, um, yeah. which that's, we need to have that too. We'll work yeah. on it or we'll provide you what you need, you sure. know, right? Yeah. The, this, this is a do it yourselfers paradise. It really is. <laughs> so this is a, here you go. Here we go. Yes. One of my favorite parts of the parts store right here, right? This is the generator section, you guys. Um, so here at Byerly RV, we sell Cummins Onan portable generators. Okay, we recognize that name. We recognize that name. These aren't some no-name thing that you bought at some box store. Yep. This is the best names in the business. There is no other better names than these. Yeah. And guess what the best part about this is? We get these, th you can get this thing fixed seven miles down the road in Fenton. There is a Cummins Onan 
service center. You buy some thing from some store that of a whatever name that's a Chinese generator, they're all probably Chinese, whatever, but the fact is there's no way to fix those things. They're right. like disposable, that's great. You bought a cage, a cage generator for 400 bucks that annoys everybody around you. Yeah. And this thing here for, we've got this on sale for 1,299 bucks. This is a 45, a 3,700 running watt, 4,500 peak watt generator. Just it's 30, got 30 amp service yeah, generator. It's right got it. This you don't need a twist lock or anything yep. like that. This has a 30 amp RV plug. Yep. It's got a remote control. I can sit inside and go vroom. It starts right up. This is I I own one of these. I this is so awesome. Everything, any it's the it's literally the best portable generator you can buy. Available right here by the RV. We also have the 2500s. We've got you know we've got some of these that you can string together. We got the full lineup, guys. So if you're looking for a portable generator, even if you don't own an RV, buy the RV is the place to buy your portable generator. Why buy something else that'll never be able to get fixed? You know, yep. right? Absolutely. And then for maintenance and stuff, if you have yeah. a motorhome that has a generator and stuff, we've got all your maintenance stuff too, right? We've got yeah. filters and we've got. We do carry the oil, right? It's just not out here. There it is. Uh, yeah. yeah, we've got the Ona yeah. Max and stuff like that. Things like Genturis, right? So that we can run our exhaust up. So, um, you know, good stuff, right? The Genturi thing is something uh, that a lot of places where you, like when you go tailgating, uh, you know, for football games, college football games and stuff, they will require those nowadays to get them fumes up and not have people, you know. You in die the from carbon monoxide, folks. It's really yeah. easy. So yeah. it's happened too many times where RVs are parked next to each yeah. other and people die. So yeah. that's what that's there for. Yeah, and we had to put you know, them on our rental fleet. They are on our um, rental fleet because because of that because people would rent them to go yeah. tailgating and and they're required. Hey, what generator do you places. use in the shop? An old name. Exactly. One, one like, right this is what we use in the shop. Like, okay. And, so, and I can tell you that the that the remote works because I've I, used dude, it. Dude, I it's, love it. It's sitting in my, one of my desk drawers. And don't right you now. love it? It's just, <laughs> yeah. it is absolutely. Yeah. You guys, seriously, best generator on the market. Check it out. Yeah. Um, hand down this aisle, which, oh, I missed an aisle. I'm skipping missed an aisle. aisle. Sorry. Get yourself back over here. <laughs> I'm ready to skip an aisle. <laughs> I know we want to get this done quicker and all, but yeah. I maybe. didn't mean to skip an aisle. <laughs> so, we can. This is our electrical aisle here. We got tail lights and DC stuff over here. We got AC stuff over here. Extension cords, we have power cords. Um, the actual detachable power cord. This is a 30 amp, the turn lock ones. Um, we got 30 amp extension cords. We got 50 amp extension cords and 50 foot. We got 25 foot. Um, we got replacement ends, so if you yeah. drug your cord, you know, accidentally, and it got ground, you can replace the end on it. Yeah. Um, that type of stuff. So I had mentioned dog bones earlier to go from 50 to 30. This would actually be a 50 amp plug to a 30 amp plug, but we have these in all kinds of different styles and types. So this would take your 50 amp plug from your from your 50 amp coach, dog bone it down to the to the 30 amp, and then we would have, yeah, then we would have that adapter that I showed you a while ago that would plug in and give you your household plug. So, just the various types of things we got. We actually got adapters that you don't have to get your long cord out. You can use mm -hmm. the turn lock adapter, dog bone, uh, and then you can put your adapt your your. Uh, uh, 30 to 15 adapter on there and run an extension cord out from the house even that way you don't have to use that cord so keeping with the uh, theme of electric yeah we've got these are surge guards we talk about these uh, a little later on in in the uh, university classes uh, when I do my power school um, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time there um, just know that we do have uh, the surge guards various different styles. Um, they will tell you and protect you. Well, here's a little thing we got things. too, right, Rick? Look. Yeah. yeah, those are good. These are cool, right? So you know everybody, so we've talked a lot about using an adapter to plug the camper in home, right? So you can use an extension cord and that way when you're down on 15 amps, you're gonna just do battery charging and you're gonna do fridge getting cold, right? Well, if you want to, if you're an electrician or if you want to get yourself an electrician to come out and do it, um, 
You can install your own. This is like for your mm -hmm. garage, man. You can put a 30 amp. We've actually got a 50 amp up here as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so that if you wanted to wire up so that you can run your air conditioner and everything just like at a campsite, we've got the stuff to do that too. Yep. So, and if you have a 1975 pop-up and you need a tail light, well guess what? Yeah. We, we literally got one. Might have that too, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the cool thing about Byerly RV. This is the cool thing about when you've been in business for 70 years, 75, excuse mm -hmm. me, been here too long. You have things. Uh, you've got things. Yeah. You've got things. We, you can, know? we got stuff. We have stuff, man. So, this is a neat little thing here, too. This is a voltage monitor. So you plug this into one of your outlets in the camper, and you can monitor, monitor your incoming AC voltage. Um, this is a good thing that will tell you if you're having uh, voltage spikes or voltage is getting low um, in a campground that, that may be an older campground or something. Um, this could... This could alert you before you start having problems with things. So, but it's a good thing to keep monitoring. So, so. we got things like tail lights, marker lights, interior lights, exterior lights, you name it. Yep. We got it. So yep. if you need to replace a light, add a light, whatever, um, that's available here. Upgrade to LEDs nowadays. If you got a really old thing, that's fine. We have that yep. stuff too. Yep. Um, opposite that. This is all trailering stuff. So now we're down to 12 volt DC again. Um, so we have seven way plugs, we have six way plugs, we have brackets to mount them on the back of your vehicle. Um, these would be for your base plates. If you need to replace the six way plug, uh, you need a new one for the accordion, we can do that. Um, we have adapters for the various different types of, of systems that are out there. Um, Modulite, trailer connectors and stuff, brake controllers. Uh, all of these are the adapters we use for plug and play brake controls. So uh, when, you, when you buy your camper and we need to install a brake controller in it, a lot of times all we have to do is use one of these adapters uh, that'll allow that brake control to plug right into the existing wiring that's in your vehicle already. And we don't have to go in and, and find those uh, connectors and stuff. Um, what else we got? Next, here? well, now we get into yeah. one of my favorite things here, Rick. Oh yes, cleaning. Yeah. So, you guys will hear me say, don't forget to wash the camper, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like we don't do that enough. I feel like sometimes, and you know what? One advice that we give people uh, in general is don't power wash. Okay. Um, if you've got a metal camper or a fiberglass camper with decals on it, you can power wash the decals right off. If you've got single pane windows, there's little holes at the bottom of your window. They're called weep holes, all right? So mm -hmm. that, that way the condensation on the inside of the window can drip to the outside. Mm -hmm. Well, if you hit it with pressure from outside, it goes the other way. Yeah. <laughs> right, Rick? It does. Um, and it plastic parts and things like that. So just in general, we usually don't power wash. That's not saying you'll never see somebody do that, but in general we don't. We typically use a brush. You know, mm -hmm. you get yourself a nice long handle brush, you get yourself some good soap, we got different stuff here, and you just get yourself a soapy bucket of water and you scrub it. Yep. Um, you're gonna run into stuff like black streaks and bug guts and stuff like that, and there's chemicals to help dissolve that stuff. There's awning cleaner, because those can be difficult to clean. There's special rubber roof cleaner and conditioner, uh, black streak and bug remover. Um, all, this is, you know, Thetford has a whole line of products, but we also have products from other folks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, where's our, uh, do we have, oh, this is actually really good stuff here. <laughs> There's the mildew and stain remover, um, stuff like, there it is, Aerospace 303, man. That is the best uh, uh, UV protectant probably ever made. Um, but anyway, you know, we've got stuff to keep it clean and stuff to keep it Dry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, if you're if you're a do it if you're a do it yourselfer, I mean, you may need butyl. We have butyl down here. The butyl is the sealant that goes behind the window and door frames and compartment door frames and stuff. And this is what actually seals it. The silicone and stuff that goes around the exterior isn't really what is sealing it, that's just helping. Yeah. So that's your, that's your first line of defense. 
This is your primary line of defense. It this is, is what you guys this. see on your trim and stuff. Yeah. That's that stuff that, that kind of squishes out, out yeah. as you screw it down. You're screwing mm -hmm. through this. It squishes out, and then we throw a caulk on it on top of it, and right. bang, dude. Right. Right. Yep. Uh, but if you're going to replace anything on the outside of the camper, like any sort of plastic piece, any sort of anything yes. that's screwed to the outside of the camper, you're going to need butyl. Right. You know, that's one of those things where carrying some butyl, carrying a couple tubes of caulk is not a bad idea yeah. just in general, right? Yeah. I mean, Carry, carrying a small roll oh, of this is good Eternabon. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Is, so, is very important. Yeah, this is, a, this. oh look, that's tan even, huh? <laughs> There's white. Um, a turnabond is, I mean, this stuff is, I don't even know how to describe it. It makes duct tape look like masking tape. I mean, this yeah. is a very permanent seal um, meant to just stop. Well, I mean, you put that down, nothing's gonna go through it. It's right, just, and, and where that's important, um, you're driving through a, an old campground that's got a lot of trees and stuff in it, and you accidentally get a little too close to one and you snag that roof and put a little tear in it, yeah. you put that on it, it no stops more worries. Because it. It you you're, you're, you've got a membrane roof that's one piece front to back, side to side. So yes, yeah. you put a hole in it, that's what you fix it with. Yep. Um, and that's something, again, you can do yourself. Yeah. You know, a little bit of, a little bit of uh, alcohol to clean the roof, brake cleaner, alcohol, um, and wipe it down, put a piece of that on it, Put a little bit of uh, your lap sealant around the around the outside of it, and you know you never have to replace that roof unless you tear it up again. Right. You know. Um, yeah. Now, special. Yeah. There's different sealants for different correct um, applications. Right. Correct. So you've got so, you know there's so you'll see when you come over here you'll see like self leveling lap sealant. So when you guys look on your roof and you see the caulk and sealant on your roof, you'll see it's like liquidy almost, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't hold a tight bead. That's because it is self-leveling. And what that means is I put it down and it's gonna go down as more of a liquid and flow into the places that it needs to be actually. Yeah. Right, Rick? Yeah, it just, and it, it just, it levels out is what it does. It, yeah. it, doesn't, just, it doesn't just lump up. Whereas right. if you use a, a non-sag, what they call it, um, this would this would just go on and it would just stay there in a lump. So if you I know, wanted just to say like, however however you pulled it out of the out of the gun, it would just stay there as that. Like if I wanted to seal, say, like I know I used clear cap sealant to do around my window frames. Mm -hmm. So the top and sides of my window frames, mm -hmm. and that I used this because it held a tight bead. Right. And because what I had on there was right. clear and it was clear. Right. And because Wayne told me to use it. Yeah. <laughs> so general, generally, in, on those areas, we would use silicone, but that works just as well. I there mean, you go. And, it, and that's right. It doesn't run, whereas your self-leveling would run if you put it on the side. So a lot of times, um, like up on the corners uh, where, your, where your cap meets the roof and stuff, you sometimes you'll see uh, sealant that's running over the edge and looks like it's... Uh, started to run down, that was because they run a little bit of self-leveling over the edge and it ran. Yep. So this is, uh, the non-sag is good for running uh, along the top of the gutter rail. That way you don't have to worry about it running down and it'll seal uh, just like your lap sealant will. Yep. Okay. Guys, we carry things like converters and stuff for replacement. This is, you know, there's, there's this is that circuit breaker and fuses and stuff that you see in your camper and everything mm -hmm. like that. Um, this is the box. So this is, these are things that like, there's no good reason why they go out. They go out at the least possible convenient time. Um, and we keep them in stock so that you can yep. get one and replace it. Yep. So we got um, inverter, a yep. couple, we got one different inverter. We got uh, some different transfer switches. We got a, a surge guard brand transfer switch. Uh, you'll see these usually, uh, in the 50 amp services on bigger motor homes. Um, and then we got some 30 amp and other types of 50 This is amp. the kind of stuff you see, guys, when you run um, 16 service bays, a full rental fleet, and prepping hundreds and hundreds of vehicles a year. Uh, you're going to see stuff like this on the shelf because when something goes bad, we need to be able to come up here and grab it, yep. not order it, you yep. know? Um, and uh, that it does cost money to keep that stuff in stock, but we do that because it's a better experience, right? Yep. Um, up front, any freeze on sale, we're not going to mess with this. You can watch yep. Rick's video on that on winterizing. <laughs> go back and please check it out. 
Um, this is kind of cool. Some cool stuff, right? Yeah, this is kind of cool. It's an RV air compressor that runs off a 12 volt. You can hook it up to your batteries and it'll help you to inflate your tires on your trailer or something like that, you know, if you need to. Yeah, it's actually a uh, decent one. I mean, it's yeah, not like yeah, some it's just not little a cheap plug. This isn't a plug into your mm -hmm. cigarette lighter right. pump. <laughs> yeah. This is a much better pump yeah, than that. That's, that you know. is going to, to create 100 PSI. Yeah. You know? Which you're and not going to get out of it. That little cig yeah. I had one of them ones that plugs into your cigarette lighter and literally, yeah. like, oil starts coming out of it as it's yeah. melting trying to yeah. inflate a, tire, you, you a truck might, tire. You might get the 60 on And that was just on a truck tire, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, we also carry uh, uh, the full line. Well, not, we got the Furion camera system here. Mm -hmm. um, we have VisionWorks cameras. We have different camera systems, guys. Yeah. Um, and uh, a lot of your stuff we'll have. You'll see um mounts and things like that uh on your camper already so we have the stuff uh to go in there we can put it on you can put it on it's up yep. to you on that right rick yep portable solar panel down there we got yeah so um this right here guys this is uh we just have a little rack set up for winterizing accessories so if you do not already have bypass kits if you want a hand pump or things like that or you need to add a uh, kit onto your water heater we have that we also have uh, some pretty cool heated hoses so if yeah. you are needing to be out in the winter time and you are able to hook up to a spigot that is going to remain on you will need a heated hose or Absolutely. it will freeze so we do sell that yeah these are going to be used if you're actually um Stay it in your camper over the winter, mm -hmm. you know. If These things came from the farming agriculture industry of, for yeah. uh, watering animals and stuff. So, yeah. um, over here we have you can upgrade and add things like fans. Mm -hmm. So, if you wanted to add a nicer fan, like you don't like that little yeah. four blade thing in the bathroom and you want something that's actually quiet and actually moves a lot of air, you can yeah. do that, you know. Yep. Um, this is one of my favorite. Repair parts? We have parts. Mm -hmm. And this is one of my favorite things to actually talk about, right? And the reason <laughs> why, you guys, is because we've all got these vents on our roof, right? And they all pretty much look the same, right? So what's mm -hmm. the difference, Rick? The hinges and the prop mechanism that raises them up and down. There's different styles of this, and there's different styles of hinges. So, so even though they're all 14 by 14, mm -hmm. and even though they're all See, plastic, there's a different hinge right there. That one's got a different hinge on it. Ours are determined by whatever it says up here for the different types of. So the point so. there, guys, is when you need one of these things, you need to either be able to absolutely be able to recognize the hinge and the mechanism mm -hmm. or just bring the old one in. Yep. Right. If you know what brand it is, like these are Dexter's, this is for a vent line or Elixir. Um, these, are <laughs> these are really old. If you find one of these, you're a... No You're, kidding, uh, right? Yeah, you probably got an old, uh, I don't know. Yeah, and then probably, over here, probably an old uh, Airstream or something. That's true. These are your yeah. 14 by 14 roof vents. These are all uh, your other plastic pieces, okay? Yeah. So little vents to vent your tanks on the roof, vents that recover uh, RV refrigerators, yep. uh, outside vents for refrigerators. We've yep. got outside vents for um, the kitchen. We've got all that. So I mean, this is just the kind of stuff that. You know, you got to have, right? Yeah, we've got. Absolutely. This is something that you know you can actually get. Maybe you don't have. Wow, closable vents, and you want closable vents. Yeah. There you go. You can actually do that. You can upgrade that stuff. Yeah. Same Maybe, thing. Same thing with the ceiling for the air conditioners. You got various different styles of of vents. Or maybe you have a dent, and you need to fix it with the dent vent. I love this thing. So it's easy, rather than peel like all the siding off the side of your RV and stuff like that, you just put this over it and it just looks like there's a vent there and you don't have to replace the whole side of the camper. Anyway, well, giving away secrets here. Yeah. It's an, it's <laughs> when you find a reflector a nice in an over. odd spot on a camper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it could very well have it been. Might, it might be there for a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we got skylights, we got the interior and the exterior sides. Yep, sunshades, stuff. We, here's your anode rods, you guys. So, you know, like I pulled my anode rod out this year and there was nothing left of this thing. So that means time, time to replace, replace. it. So, um, but we have those over here. <laughs> we have a full propane selection of stuff. We have everything you'll need and something that you're going to want that doesn't exist because you cannot take your uh, 
big, huge grill that runs off of a white bottle and hook it up to the quick disconnect on your camper because you have high pressure appliances and low pressure appliances. So your camper has a regulated system on it so that the regulator is up on the tank, right? So it goes tank, regulator, and then camper. So everything behind that regulator is low pressure. It's been regulated, okay? So the quick disconnects we use in the RV business are for low pressure appliances. Right. Um, you buy a stove at a big box store that runs off of a white bottle, that's full pressure. The stove has its own regulator on it. It will not work off your RV. You will not find an adapter. So if you decide to build your own, it still won't work. <laughs> so I'm just let you know on it. I always say that because I spent years up here in parts, man. And like people were determined to try to make this work. The reason why the adapter is not there is because it doesn't work. <laughs> right, Rick? Did I do okay on that, Rick? Um, well, there, there actually is an adapter that goes on some tanks that allows them to run their their. Well, grills. you're pulling they're between the tank but and going, the regulator, right? You're right? Going, yeah, you're, you're, yeah. Putting, you're putting one of these into the bottle, and then it has a port that comes off of it, and then you can get a hose that can go to your, your grill to allow the high-pressure things to operate on your on your system. So these adapters go pre-regulator. There you go. So you're getting the, you're the full pressure off. You're pulling it off before it goes through the regulator. The, right, and the regulator on the device is what's going to regulate the, the gas pressure. You that. can get those for trailers, you can get those for mm -hmm. motorhomes, and another thing yeah. you can get for a motorhome, a motorhome has a propane tank that is a DOT installed tank. It doesn't need to be inspected, it doesn't need to be replaced, it's there forever, that's fine. Right. Um, but if you want to fill it, you literally, obviously, I can, like if my trailer, I could take the bottle off, go fill the bottle, put it back on. Easy peasy, all right? My motorhome has to be driven to get it filled, right? Um, we do have an adapter that allows you to tee in and actually run your motorhome off of a portable bottle, yeah. saving that propane on board with allowing you then to just swap out the 20 or 30 pounder that yeah. you're using so you don't have to move your motor home to get propane. If you don't want to, you can do it that way, right? Yeah, where that's really handy is uh, if you're, again, if you're living in the unit or something like mm -hmm. that and you're standing there over the winter, you can call the local propane company where you're at and you can have a 100 pound bottle brought out so you're not having to change that. And that extend to stay, as it's called, uh, will give you the the ability to adapt that 100 pound bottle into your existing uh, propane system. And as Dave said, you don't use the onboard, so you would still have your onboard, you just turn your service valve off and you don't draw anything out of that. Or in the case of an emergency, you you run out on your 100 pound bottle, you still got your onboard tank that you yep. can draw off of. Yep, 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 guys. And then we got some fire extinguishers. We've got smoke detectors, carbon monoxide alarms. These things actually decide to stop working for no good reason as well. So there you go. And they're also supposed to be replaced after five years. Yeah, technically they do have these uh, expiration dates on them. So yes. um, that is absolutely true. Um, it might really upset you when you take yours out and find out how long it had been sitting there before they put it in. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, these are the fun accessories. This is the now, fun right? stuff, guys. Yeah. This is the stuff I mean, is, like it's like this is know. where you personalize the camper yeah. to you. So here's the thing, and you're going to see a theme on this shelf, okay? Your camper has all the storage it's ever going to have, okay? And so if you can buy things that take up less space, you mm -hmm. will then, that's the only way to get more storage space. And what I yeah. mean by that, for example, is this. So this is a collapsible broom and dustpan, okay? So this is how it stores, okay? And then when I need to sweep, can I give that to you for a second, please? Thank you. I'm just gonna break it. Well, pop that out. And then just I, twist these into place. Yeah, I have one of these and they're, they're great. Okay, so I don't have to have a place for a full-size broom because it just no. folds up. And you'll, you'll see, you know, like here's, here's hangers they like actually grip the uh, hanger. The, so, the, yeah, the, so they won't fall off. Yeah, so they won't fall off while you're going down the road, mm -hmm. you know? Um, this, the utility container, which is a trash can, I, ha I absolutely love this. Because yeah. how often do you actually, does every single campsite have its own trash can? They don't. Yep. This is your trash can outside when you're cooking and stuff. It's super nice to have. 
I mean, it's just it's one of those little things, but yeah. you know, and you can use them for a lot of other things. You can use them for for you storing bet. clothes and and you know, use it as a laundry hamper and stuff yes. like that. So it has a it has a great deal of of additional possibilities. And this yeah. is the kind of stuff where we will recommend things like you know, this is non-slip shelf liner. You cut it to fit and put it in the shelves so your stuff doesn't get messed mm -hmm. up, right? Yep. You've got things like collapsible. These are great, dude. That is you know, cool. For isn't laundry. It? There you go. Collapsible. Laundry basket. Again, you know, doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Yep. A mini dish drainer that also doubles as a storage thing. You know, things like that. Double duty stuff. Mm -hmm. You've got plate. Just you know, I use these pop a toothbrush things because I that that way I got a place for my toothbrushes. You've got things like this is a little thing, you guys. Okay. So like earlier, Rick said that your gray tank can smell worse than a black tank. Part of the reason why that can happen is if you let anything that can spoil food stuff or anything like that when you're doing dishes and stuff like that, mm -hmm. that stuff goes into the gray tank and it'll spoil and smell and stuff like that. So these are just little, I use these at home at this point in time, but you just, yeah. you know, it catches stuff and you just tap it out in the trash can. It's a little sink strainer. You don't want things going into that gray tank if you can keep it from going in the gray tank. Yeah. Right, Rick? Yeah, that's good. And then uh, we've got fridge bars. This is another thing. Okay, so what if, we, fridge bars are like little curtain rod, like, like, like spring-loaded bars, right? Mm -hmm. Because think about this. Your refrigerator in your camper, how often is it packed so perfectly full that nothing's gonna move around? Not that often, right? So this allows us to take all our stuff in our fridge, you push it to the back of the fridge, you put the bars in, and it holds it in place while you're going down the road. You know, it's a little what, thing, but- What happens when that gallon of milk starts sliding around in that refrigerator? Dude, you don't have potato salad come the door? over in a, yeah. in a refrigerator yeah. until you get there. Let me tell you about opening the door and the potato salad came over. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, dude. I'm, we still have a I'm clean- I'm thinking more along the lines of just the door coming open because you're going down the road. You know, oh man. And everything that's inside coming out. I've had that happen too. that happened too. So, you know, um, we're not immune to that, guys. We have yep. all kinds of stuff like that happening. Things like paper towel holders and plate holders and egg holders and, you know, this, I use this, I love this. This is a suction cup little, you know, it can hold stuff, but it just sits, it stays while you're moving. I love it, you know, I can, it's just neat. We, we, we talk a lot about a lot of these different things because we've actually used them. We, we, yeah. we do like this. this. Here you go. You know? Okay, see these? Okay, so Those this are awesome. this is your Camco countertop extension. This is your this thing here. You got to order this from the manufacturer to get it and stock it. This isn't just a you know. So we had to go out and say we need replacements of these yeah. and got a bunch of them because we know everybody wants them. So, yeah. um, but you know this isn't just a this. Some of the stuff we have around here, you know, anybody can get stuff like this. Anybody, but mm -hmm. other stuff not so much. Yeah. You know, um, more fun Stove stuff. Stovetop cover. If that you don't, I love, if you dude. Don't, if you don't have the the uh, glass cover or a metal cover or something over your stove top, get one of those, yep. and it and it increases your counter space yeah, by quite a bit. Solid wood and mm -hmm. usable, usable workspace. This yep. is nice. This is a sink cover, okay? And you know, people come in and they want sink covers, but we don't know how big their sink is, okay? And yep. they didn't bring the camper with them. I don't expect them to. This has adjustable little things so that it'll fit whatever size sink mm -hmm. you need. So that's a little the, thing, but the cool. clever, the clever stuff, you know. It really is, you know. Yeah. It's the kind of little stuff that makes your trips just a little bit more enjoyable. The whole idea is we're out having mm -hmm. fun with this, right, you guys? Right. Um, you know, now over here in this area, you guys, we've got, you know, people still want to upgrade steps and things like that. We've got big stuff like that, you know. Um, we can do that if you're looking for low pressure appliances. We have those. Okay, so we talked about the thing that plugs into the quick disconnect. There it is. Yeah. When you come in, we have hitches on display so that you can see what you're going to get. We have tow bars here. If you're going to have a tow bar put on the front of your car to tow your car behind a motorhome, you're going to want people that have done that a lot to do it. That's mm -hmm. us, okay? I challenge anybody that does any more base plates than we do around here. Yep. Um, fifth wheel hitches are also over there. We got fifth various. wheel hitches. We've got mm -hmm. covers and tire covers and and. RV covers, you know, um, we've got, we're, okay, guys, we have done whole school on this. So right. we're just going to say, here is the wall They're in stock. of stuff. Yep. If you need it, we probably have it. Accessories to hook up the stuff. Yep. We've got, we've got, we've got, got TV, TV antennas. TV brackets, and you name it. So watch the school uh, that we already did if you want to learn more about uh, yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Um, then let's see over here. Here we go, what do we got? Yeah. This, is, uh, this, this is some more of our trailering stuff. So we've got, uh, we got hitch balls down here. 
two and five sixteenths, two inch, uh, one inch shank, uh, seven eighths shank. Um, so that's the balls. Uh, we have locks for the hitch pins and uh, the couplers. We also have them for the uh, to actually hold your uh, draw bars in. Uh, we have coupler locks for trailers. Um, over here we have um, valve extenders for uh, A and C class motorhomes. We have some hubcaps. And Look at this, people. Here you go. Check it out. That is the Tiffin logo for the center cap of a wheel liner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Goes right down there in that center cap on, yeah. that, on one of them. All right. And so, so the deal okay. is, is yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. And there's the actual cap. And then that goes right there. Right. This isn't an off-the-shelf part. This didn't come from one of our distributors. We ordered this from Tiffin and packaged it ourselves and put it up here for you so that you guys can have it. But that's, mm -hmm. that's the kind of thing where a place like Byerly RV is different than some of the big box camping stores that I won't name that you guys know who it is, okay? But that's okay, <laughs> read the reviews. I got a 4.6 Google rating for a reason. Yeah. We work hard at it around here, so um, it's worth it. Uh, yeah. I promise you that, folks. More of our trailing accessories. We have draw bars. We have adjustable drop bars. So these are really cool. Um, this, takes, this takes care of almost any trailer that you have when you use one of these. So you can raise this whole assembly up and down. This also has the little adapter that you can put on the ball. So just by taking this off, you now have a two inch ball. You stick this back on, you got a two and five sixteenths ball. And then you can raise it up and down for different trailer tongue heights. So you don't have to keep changing the bar every time you want to tow a different trailer. You might be towing your utility trailer, you might be towing your RV or something, um, and then you go to, to tow your boat or whatever, and it needs to be a different height, boom, you're done, and you're on your way. We got a couple different styles and of those. And what are the capacities on those things? I mean, those are heavy duty. These aren't just like, yeah. this isn't just like your standard shank. But anyway, we also have standard shanks, right? Mm -hmm. the, and we've got, yeah. this is nice too. This is the uh, Anderson. Yep. Uh, rapid hitch, that's another one of those. Mm -hmm. We still have some tie-down systems around here yep. um, for truck campers and stuff. Here you go, how many times? Who, who all's lost that breaker bar they use to uh, <laughs> to snap up your uh, snap brackets on your uh, on your weight distribution hitch, right? We carry mm -hmm. that, we carry things like lubricator discs so you don't have to, you know, we carry little things like the equalizer, you know, you need, the you pins. lost your yeah. pin, you need mm -hmm. pins, you need replacing parts. Things like that, clips, yep. we've got all that, guys. Yep. That's, you know. Sway bars, if you yep. want to put your own sway bar on, if you didn't happen to get one when you when you bought your camper. We also carry things like uh, over here, we've got mirror extensions and things like that. We've got bad mirror extensions, and we've got good mirror extensions. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure these have long there since I got here. So anyway, <laughs> whatever, man. I will not, cannot recommend a rubber band held on. Um, uh, mirror, just to be honest with you folks. I'll usually yeah. never say anything bad about what we sell. Do not buy that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Nate. We'll just have to wholesale those. Yeah. Um, these are good. These things here are literally... Now, granted, here's the deal. 55 bucks, 160 Folks, you get what you pay for. So, anyway. <laughs> and that's no joke. Those are good. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. We also have fitted truck mirrors. Mm -hmm. We get over in here into like tripod jacks, ultra guards. Yep. I mean, gosh, guys. These are, these are rock guards. Yeah. These are the best rock guards they are. They're heavy. They do not let stuff pass by them. So, and then they're custom fit to fit on the back of your vehicle. You know, more accessories for mm -hmm. our, tow, you know, yours. if you're going to yeah. tow your car Base behind your motorhome mm -hmm. and stuff, braking systems, you name it. Yep. We've got things like um, solar kits. This is a complete kit with a charge controller and a panel. This is what you need. Um, all kinds of stuff. This thing's awesome right here. It's a nice little rack for the back. I mean, guys, we've got, here's bunk ladders, outside ladders. If you bought one of these campers that you need that Lippert on the go ladder, we actually have that in stock as well. Mm -hmm. These things are absolutely awesome. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's... We can get you furniture. We can get you furniture. We absolutely. We don't stock that stuff, but we have yeah. here you quick go. access to it. Looking to get somebody something for Christmas? Power tongue jack if they don't already have one. Yeah. That, you know, stuff like that. Um, we've got leveling, obviously, that you can put on the outside of the camper. We've got things like, I mean, we've got, 
wheel chocks, big chocks, little chocks. This is cool. So this trailer tongue jack stand, okay, like, yeah, most of us use like a six by six or a four by four or something like that piece of wood. Mm -hmm. This is actually taller, um, has a larger footprint. And the nice part about this is, is this, that jack, the less it moves, the longer it will last. Yep. So therefore, your and jack unless, doesn't and travel unless you're going to get you know. movement up there, too, by putting that under there and only running that jack down this far as opposed to running it this far, right. you're not going to get as much movement on right. that front. Now, I tell you what, Rick, I, added, I did pick, I, I started using these. Those are good. I've been using x yeah, man. I, cool. I live on a hill, mm -hmm. and for the first time ever, I bought these, put them in place, and I disconnected my camper on a hill like this, Yeah. my trailer. And yeah. I was cool doing that. And it doesn't that. move. It does not move. Yeah. You know, yeah. so these things here, love them. If I wanted to, I could put a lock on there. Mm -hmm. Then you can't steal the trailer. You have to let the air out of the tires to let this thing out, and then you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I mean, just, you just can't. It, it, it's a huge theft deterrent uh, if you put a lock on one of these things. So, anyway. Yeah. And then we got, here you go, more fun stuff. Yeah. So, tables, camping mats. These are cool. We got some little uh, steps here. Yeah, help if you want a fifth wheel, you, you might up need a little one of those, bit. Yep. right? Yep. Um, on the flip side of this, oh, step mats. A lot of people like these. I do. They wrap, they wrap over your entry steps um, and just give you a place to wipe your feet yeah. off before you carry all that dirt and dust. And it's and built in. So you stuff. put the steps out, the mat's there. Yeah. <laughs> right? This is something here that's pretty, pretty, pretty handy and I would almost say important. I love links my, levelers. Oh, dude, I so, can't tell you how much yeah. I use my links levelers. Yeah. When you when you have a trailer that doesn't have a leveling system built into it, this is how you level the trailer. Yeah. So you're going to put your links levelers down and you're going to drive your wheels up onto them. They're like little Lego blocks, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stack them up. Yep. However, I need and notice here. So, if you guys go look at the Byerly RV Facebook page and you go back over the summer, you're going to see pictures that I put up there when I was camping. I use these things for everything. We were somewhere and the whole site was so unlevel. I mean, the painting table was practically unusable. Not after I got done with these things. I always carry two. One's not enough. Yes. I have a double axle trailer, so I need two anyway. But like, again, I seriously, I use these things to level everything. I level the camp. I, I level the pygmy table with these things. I love it. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. And like they're, I said, go to the Facebook page. Check great. it out. You'll see yeah. pictures of me doing that. It's really what cool. What we got behind you there? Oh, my. Yeah. This is okay, guys. So here we go. Mud dauber screens, bug screens, whatever you want to call them. Here's the deal. This is for the furnace, okay? Your furnace. The furnace is something, you know, these are what the exhausts look like, right? So your furnace, all summer long, you don't use your furnace, okay? And what'll happen is, is the bugs, whatever, will get up in there, mud dobbers will get up in there, and they'll build nests. And then, when you go to fire it up in the wintertime, it doesn't work right. Why? Well, because there's mud dauber nests in there. Well, what do you do? You're going to come in here and pay about 600 bucks for somebody to go in and clean those things out by the time the late, because we got to take the furnace out, go through there, clean it out, put it back in. Labor's 160 bucks an hour. That's it. You're going to pay 400 bucks, 600 bucks. Who knows? Yeah. Or this little guy here for $18, you put this over the furnace. It clips in. It's really easy. You put it on yourself, and it just simply keeps the um, it keeps the um, bugs from going up in there. We have them for water heaters. We have them for refrigerators. Fair warning, yeah. guys. Um, there are manufacturers, we've had people, you know, that, that will say they didn't recommend this. Right. Okay, so this, I have to qualify this by saying read your manu the appliance manufacturer's manual and you have to make your choice based on that on whether or not you're going to use one of these. I have always used these. I have never had a problem. I don't know anybody. The, prob the problem has. that you're going to have... <clears throat> is worse than the problem that using one of these could cause. That's right. Let me, you know, that, that's so the best way you're going to get manufacturers it. are going to CYA because that's what their lawyers said to do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's yeah. fine. The reality is, is that between Rick and I, we have 50 years of experience doing this and never have we had any problem with these things. Right. Right. So <laughs> take that for what it's worth. <laughs> um, I just happen to be standing here noticing this. Yeah. See, these are obviously packages that we put together yep. of different levels of, of equipment to accessorize after yeah. you've done your, 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 your uh, yeah. welcome kit. We just spent, so we just spent an hour walking through the store. 
okay? And we looked at a ton of stuff. Mm -hmm. If you remember everything we looked at, good for you. I don't remember <laughs> everything we looked at. Exactly. Right? Um, and that's where this is, you know, as a dealership, we're gonna say, listen, if you just, we have a recommendation. Look at this right here, yeah. just the silver pack. So the silver package has the Dominator sewer hose we talked about. Mm -hmm. It's got, you need wheel chocks when you get mm -hmm. home, period. It's got yeah. a hose that doesn't take up as much room. It gives you some toilet chemical. Uh -huh. It's got that filter. Remember yep. the filter I was talking about? There's a filter. We've got an up Upgraded water pressure regulator for people that want to know how much pressure is actually yeah. there. Got We've got the sidewinder, yeah. links levelers, all the things that are, this is good stuff. You'll use all yeah. this, you know. Yeah. Um, gold package just adds a little bit more. You know, we've got actually now the sidewinder. Oh, that's diamond. That's the diamond. Excuse package, me. Yeah. Diamond, gold. Yeah. This one down here is silver. silver. But anyway, so we put these packages together, you guys. I mean, when you buy your RV from Byerly RV, we are your home dealer. This is your home, okay? All of this. And we built this building. We built this building in 1999, and when we built this building, as far as we know, it was the only building in St. Louis built specifically to sell and service RVs. Since then, we've doubled the size of our service department in the dealership, but now what have we done? Those of you that don't know, most of you probably do, we have opened up our new service center Yep. next door okay 16 service bays right rick yep 16 service bays guys and we have an 88,000 square foot indoor climate controlled valet storage facility the first of its kind in the area and you know what i mean a happy motorhome is a nice warm and dry motorhome yeah. <laughs> which is Absolutely. what it will be <laughs> yep. in the, in this storage you know but um one of the neat things about the new service facility yeah is I'm offering express service now. Tell us about this. So, Tell us about this. This is another thing that's revolutionary in the business case. Yeah. We have actually got six bays that are dedicated to getting you in and getting you out same day within a couple hours. You know? Possibly not even having to yeah. unhook. Yes. I mean, just. That, and, and that's the ideal situation. We don't want you to unhook. Right. We want to be able to just pull you in, get you done, and send you down the road. Right. You know, winterizes, dewinterizes, bearing packs, you know, the things that don't take a long time. We're going to do our 10 point multi inspection, uh, multi point inspection on you um, to make sure if you need anything else that. We're going to see it, and we're going to advise you on it and give you a price of what it would cost to have any additional repairs made. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea of it is to get you in, get you out, send you on your way. You know? so, so let's think about this for a second. We have dedicated six service bays just to this. Yep. That's as many bays as a lot of our competitors have. Yes. Those are the folks out there are like, well, if you didn't buy your camp here, we can't work on it. Why? Because well, we don't have enough facility, we don't have enough people, and that's the way it is. Sorry. We have to take care of our people. I get that. You should. You better. We do too. That's why we did this, right? right. Um, but the reality is, is that we want you to come here. We want you to get your service done here. You bought your camper from the neighbor. That's fine. No, that's fine. You need a good service facility. Yep. That's what we're here for. That's why we built this. The cool thing is, is the next time you buy a camper, you're probably going to give us a shot. Okay? Exactly. And that is all we ask, all right? Yeah. But the reality is, is that's what you come here for, guys. We're going to take good care of you. Whether you bought it here or not, we're going to take good care of you, okay? Yeah. Um, of we're, course, we're certainly going to do our best. Absolutely. And, yeah. you're, you know, I will absolutely 100%, no matter what, guarantee you that there is more experience at Byerly RV than anywhere else, not just in the St. Louis market area, but I would challenge you to find another dealership in the United States of America that has the experience that we do under this one single roof or location. A good, a good, a good example of that, the, the two production managers, Mark and myself, uh, are, are triage, uh, insurance estimate uh, technician, and our service manager were sitting at a table uh, last night, or yesterday afternoon, talking about some procedures and stuff that we're doing. And Tom, the manager, said, do you realize how much experience is sitting at this table? That's right. The four of us was almost 100 years yeah. There's of 50 RV right experience. Here. 50 years. You know? And that's if you've only been doing it 30. Yeah. But that's 50 years right here, okay? 
I mean, just, and that's just between the two of us. Yeah. If Michael was standing next to us, now we're 60 years. If Tom was standing next to us, now we're 80 years. Yep. Mark's standing next to us, we're over 100. I mean, yep. boom. It's, you come up to this parts counter and Pete's standing there, you already have 50 years of experience. <laughs> you, just, yep. you know what I mean? And yep. yeah, I mean, just out of one person, you know? The, the knowledge and <laughs> experience of, of the people that are here. Yeah, we got a lot of new people back there too, but the knowledge and experience that we all have, we are transferring it to these new people. That's right. And we're trained to teach them all the right way to do things. Yeah. You know, we we have a full line of training that that includes not only manufacturers training, but the RVIA training that that all RV technicians are supposed to be doing and gets them to various different certification levels. So it used to be it was master certified and certified techs. Well, now it's levels. It's level yep. one, level two, level three, level four. So I am a master tech. I'm a level four tech. Um, Which is the highest level. Yes. We have several techs uh, that are all level two right now. Some of those are working on their level threes. Um, unfortunately, since COVID, um, we haven't had as many manufacturing manufacturer courses and stuff to, to help some of those guys reach that, that third level. Yeah, stop and, using and that as a crutch, people. Let's but, get back to it, okay? Yeah, but uh, there, is, <laughs> there is training out there, and we have guys that are working on that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but we, our, our owner is, is just absolutely, uh, you know, a fanatic about making sure that, we are getting our people trained. Yeah. I mean, he 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 demands. Are we this still hiring to get our people trained? Um, We're always accepting resumes applications. and applications. Absolutely. So if you're interested in yeah. getting into the RV business. We're always accepting applications, always, always accepting resumes. Come yeah. on down. Maybe, yeah. you know, we'll see what's going on. If we don't have a spot now, maybe later, who yeah. knows? Yeah. But um, if you're interested in doing this, it's a fun place to work. We have a good time. You get to work mm -hmm. with people like me and Rick, you know, and um, it, it's a good time. And, it's, and you get to, you know, you sell fun. So, I mean, yeah. nobody's buying anything here. Nobody has to buy anything here. So, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, it, it, you know, that, it's that's really one cool. of the things that, uh, you know, that, that Warren talks about, you know. I mean, this business is, is, people's discretionary money yeah. you know nobody nobody is is forcing somebody to come out here and buy one of these things you come out and you buy it to create memories yep we talk you about know? that a lot around here you guys yeah. um, and because we do know that we compete against every other way that you can spend your recreational time and dollars mm -hmm. and those recreational time and dollars are hard-earned because you worked hard for that okay right. and we understand that and we value that that's why we've done all this and that's why we try to provide you the experience you deserve when you buy an rv right. um that's why we built everything we did you know that's why me and rick stay here this is a great place so yeah. if you are looking to how long you've been here uh, 17 years. It'll be 18 in a yeah. month. And I've been here 16 years. Yeah. So, so yeah. and you came from somewhere else already as a master tech. So, right. Um, that you know, Rick Rick was already a master tech when he arrived here. So, um, we, you know, guys, uh, we really mean it um, when we say things like for the rest of your life and that you've got to be there and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll feel that when you come in. You know. So, uh, don't buy a camper somewhere else before you come to Byerly RV. You will literally be doing yourself a disservice. Yeah. And At I can say that with confidence, okay? Yeah. Um, you're not, I can promise you, you won't get anything, another home dealer like what we have here, so. Yeah. Um, and with the extras and stuff we do. So listen, right. guys, um, I don't know, you got anything else? I don't think so. I don't um, either. Oh, we got mats over here. Yeah, yeah, we got like mats. That, there's yeah. Like, you know, there's always stuff, you guys. Yeah. So um, if nothing else, come on by, check it out. Impulse, yeah. buy some stuff. What the heck? You know, it's always good. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, regardless of where you bought your RV, regardless of of that type of stuff, come to Byerly RV. We are your place for parts. We are your place for service. No matter what, um, we will take good care of you the best we can. So. Right. Um, make sure you have uh, clicked the like if you've watched this whole thing. We appreciate that. It'll help it continue to be seen by other people. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. If you're watching on Facebook, you might want to go ahead and uh, subscribe to that YouTube channel. Yeah. If you're on YouTube and you haven't liked us on Facebook, you might want to do that. That way you keep up with all the news and everything else going on here at Byerly RV. Right, Rick? Absolutely. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm Thank Dave. You. I'm Rick. We'll see you next time. Merry Christmas. <laughs>